Just like being in a car, people love to jam to their favorite music while riding in their golf cart. And as the market continues to grow, having an awesome sound system in your cart has turned into a necessity. From the roof, to the back seat, to the dash, people are installing speakers wherever they possibly can into their golf carts. Well, as this trend continues to grow, we are starting to see more and more sound systems that totally ignore the fundamentals on how to install a speaker. You would think it's as easy as just drilling a hole and screwing the speaker into the body of your golf cart, but it's not, and here's why. So the ideal way of installing a speaker is within an enclosure that is both dense and airtight, which keeps the back side of the speaker confined within a certain cubic airspace, like this speaker box for example. All you can see is the front side of the speaker, and the rest of it is entirely closed in an airtight box. A poor way of installing a speaker is within an open air environment, which is like you see here. As you see the front of the speaker, but there's nothing keeping the back side of it contained. Well, this is an issue because the four most popular spots to put speakers in your golf cart, like right here in the body, right here in the body, right here in the dash, and right up here in the roof, are all very open air environments. To properly explain why enclosed is better than open air, I first need to explain how a speaker works. So we've got a JL Audio M6 marine grade speaker right here and it has a tweeter in the front, which emits the uh, high range frequencies. And then it has a cone right here, which emits the mid range frequencies, which is bass or mid bass. So the cone actually works by flexing both backwards and forwards, um, and which ultimately sends audio both backwards and forwards. Well, the goal is not to hear the audio being fired that way, backwards. The goal is to hear the audio being fired forwards out of the front of the speaker. So when a speaker is installed in an open air environment, a lot like this, which is how you normally see speakers installed in a golf cart, the cone in the speaker can fire frequencies just as freely as it can backwards, as it can forwards. I guess forwards is a new word, so the speaker can fire forwards and forwards. So when it can do that, it essentially cancels itself out. So in other words, the mid-range frequencies are half as powerful and half as accurate as they should be. Now when a speaker is installed in an enclosed environment, a lot like this, the cone can still move backwards, but rather than send any sound backwards, it builds pressure within the airtight enclosure. This pressure within the enclosure makes the cone snap back and forth faster with more accuracy and power, which provides you with a more precise and powerful sound. An effective analogy I like to use when comparing a speaker in an open air environment versus an enclosed environment is by throwing a punch. Imagine, my fist is the speaker. My feet is the air behind the speaker. And this rigged up punching bag is the sound. As I stand here, straight up in the air, with my feet together, no support behind me, no balance, I shall call this the open air speaker pose. As you can see, the sound travels very little. My fist, not very powerful. Now as I stand here sideways, with my feet apart, my dominant foot behind me for support, and my center of gravity balanced, I shall call this the enclosed speaker pose. As you can see, the sound travels much further. My fist, very powerful. Why? Because my fist, the speaker, had strength and support due to my dominant foot being behind me, which is exactly what an enclosure provides for a speaker, strength and support. So this is the custom club car onward that we built that we call Yeti. And it has two great examples of an enclosed speaker system. So here in between the cushions, instead of just drilling a hole and screwing the speakers into the plastic body like you normally see in a golf cart, we actually built an airtight enclosed box that is coated in Duratex paint. This box actually serves two purposes because not only does it protect the back side of the speaker from dirt and water from the underside of the golf cart, but it also provides the speaker with twice as much power since it's an enclosed box. So up here in the roof, we went with the Club Car OEM overhead speaker console, 
but we actually take their stock speakers out and put in our own JL Audio M6s. Now, we love using this console because it is enclosed. So in other words, you cannot feel the back of the speaker up here. And the lights you're actually seeing up here is another LED strip. Well, we like using this, but it's not very dense nor heavy. In other words, the enclosure's not. So what we actually do is we line every square inch of this enclosure with Dynamax to make the enclosure more heavy, more dense, which allows the speakers to produce a much better mid-range sound. So I know I just covered a lot of information in a short video, but if I could leave you with one rule, it is to not install a speaker on your golf cart unless you can enclose it. Now for all the audio nerds out there that are watching this video, I know I skipped over all kinds of important variables that you should consider when installing speakers or sound system on your golf cart. But the majority of our viewers are not audio nerds like you and me. They just want to know the basics. They don't care about all the minute details that you and I think about when installing speakers on a golf cart. Well, for the rest of you that aren't audio nerds and you want some advice, or you just want us to install a system on your golf cart, please reach out to us by phone, Facebook, Instagram, email, go to our website, or just stop into our showroom right here on the south side of Van Wert, Ohio. Thank you.